It's looking good. Hi, this is Richard, and welcome to another episode of Making Something From Nothing. Today we're going to be doing a lathe project. I'm going to be making a live center for the tailstock of the lathe. And I'm going to be using some tools sent to us by banggood.com. They've been working with some YouTubers and been sending out some tooling packages. So we're going to give these things a run for their money. Here's a brief look at their website and a description of the tools that they sent me. And here's some photos of uh, the seven tools. And I'll let everybody decide, based on the results that I get, whether or not these are some tools that you can use in your shop. I'm going to have a link down in the description box below the video uh, to the lathe uh, turning tools that they had sent to me, as well as for this uh, dial indicator holder that they sent as well. Let's get on to the project. So to begin the project, I need to drill and bore out one side of this to go ahead and put internal threads for that arbor. And then on the other side, go ahead and drill and bore that out to accept the bearings and the bull center. So I start off with a 7 16 and then move up to a 3 quarter inch drill and then I'll go ahead and bore it out from there. So the first tool that we're going to use from Banggood is this 12 millimeter boring bar with a CCMT insert and we'll see how well that does on this uh, grade 8 bolt that I have uh, chucked up in the lathe. Well, I'm going to be boring into a blind hole so I went ahead and set up the dial indicator holder that Banggood had sent me to give me about 70 thou clearance before I crash the tool. It gives me plenty of time to go ahead and disengage the half nut. Once the apron strikes the anvil on the indicator, I've got about 70 thousandths before I crash. I can normally stop it in about 15. So I'm boring this out to put in a 7 ace 20 thread and it, boring bar is doing a really good job and the surface finish is uh, pretty decent. So now I'll go ahead and get the lathe set up for threading and we'll try out the internal threading tool from banggood.com. We'll see how that does. And once again during this operation, the dial indicator holder given to me by Banggood is letting me know exactly when to stop. So as you can see, I'm stopping about 70 thou before crashing the tool. That thing comes in handy. So the next tool that we're going to try out from Banggood is this parting tool. Uh, this has a carbide insert. I've never used one before. So we're going to see how it works on this hardened bolt. Now I've never used one of these 
carbide parting tools before and I'm just taking my time and taking it slow and seems to be doing a really good job. This is a grade 8 bolt and the first quarter inch of the outside exterior on this thing is extremely hard. So I'm pretty pleased with the tool. It's doing a good job. Now I have a lot of stick out from the chuck so I'm supporting the work with the tailstock currently using a live center but all that's going to be removed once I get down towards the center of this, uh, this bolt before I part it off. Well the rest of the parting operation went real smooth so I've got it rechucked up and I'm just center drilling it here and I'm going to do a rinse and repeat and take this out to 22 millimeter which is the size of the bearings that I have. Now the big drill left a cone in the bottom of this bore so I'm using the Banggood boring bar once again to go ahead and peck this out to have a flat bottom so the bearings will sit flush on the bottom of it. Now what I'm shooting for with this bore is 560 thousandths deep and 22 millimeter exactly in diameter. Well due to my lack of experience I'm not sure if I should go for a press fit on these bearings or not or just make the bore the size of the bearing and use some Loctite. So we'll see. Well with the bearing housing complete it's time to start thinking about the bowl center. So I break out the grade 8 bolt once again and I'll cut a chunk of that off and chuck it up in the lathe. And that'll give us a chance to check out the next banggood.com tool that they sent. And that's a right hand turning tool with a DCMT insert. So we'll give this one a shot. See how it goes. So I decided to push this insert a little bit and see what she can do. The only problem that I encountered with uh, the Banggood tool so far is with this one. And it leaves a great finish when you're turning, but when you go to face an edge like I'm trying here, uh, it's leaving that record player look, and it's just not a nice finish. So I try a couple of different angles, but ended up with the same result. So turning good, facing not so good.
and here we have that same tool putting a very superior finish on the bull center itself. Okay, well that wraps up part one of the Live Center build and the Banggood Tools review. My overall impression of these tools so far is very positive. Uh, like I said, I really only had the one problem when I was trying to face that one part. But uh, tune in for part two. It's either going to be released later today or tomorrow. No later than that. Well, this is Rich from Making Something From Nothing, and I thank you for watching part one. Please check out part two, and in the meantime, go out in your shop and make something from nothing.